is Richard from the 25th hour. Um, I play drums, obviously. Well, uh, let me show you my kit. It's, uh, it's a Pearl Masters Custom with a sunburst fade. It's very nice. I like, I like that. I like that color. Um, I play uh, Evans EC2 heads. I got a 10, 12, 14, 16 inch toms, 14 inch snare, 6 inches deep. That's the Pearl Free Floater, by the way. I don't know if you can see the emblem. Oh, there it is. Right there. Right there. Very nice. It's kind of off-center because the shell, it's separate from the rest of the drum, which is also pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Uh, mostly Pearl hardware. I got a Pearl Eliminator pedal down here. My buddy Max is letting me borrow that. If you see him at our shows, he's the big Viking-looking guy. Big holes in his ears and big scary beard. Just go slap him. Um, cymbals. I play mostly Pasty Roots and a couple of Zildjans. Right here is a Pasty Road Wild Crash 18 inch. Uh, I also have one over on the left side. I just like to dual symbol it up, I guess. And then uh, here's my brutal ass Pasty Road 20 inch China. It's pretty nice. I like it. I like to beat on it. It's trashy. I like to beat on a lot of things. Uh, my Thin Crash. Very nice, similar to the Wild Crash, just a little bit smaller, a little bit higher pitched. That's this one right here. <laughs> <laughs> See that? And then uh, this is a, uh, these are kind of crappy, uh, these Agazarian Chinas, but uh, they're trashy and uh, easy, easily replaceable. Nice. And then uh, Custom Dry Ride right here, K Custom Zildjian, very nice. Uh, Master Sound Hi Hats, 14 inches, Zilbel on top, just for a little bit of extra salsa. And um, got a rack. Uh, the rack's nice. Just uh, pop on the stands and go. Move it all in one piece. And 747Bs Pro Mark. I don't know if you can see that right there. Pro Mark 747Bs. A little bit longer. That's how I roll. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What up? This is Calvin. I'm the bass player in the 25th hour, and we're gonna take a look at my sweet ass gear here. Uh, first, we got the bass. This is an Ibanez Sound Gear. It's the SR706 model. It's a six string, and it's tuned from low to high. Is A D A D G C, and that's pretty much the bass. Over here, we got. The amp setup. I got a Mesa Big Block 750 for the head and the cab. I got a Mesa 8x10 Road Ready case. This thing is awesome for playing shows and touring. Uh, you just pop on the case over the top there and then this whole thing just rolls and it's a cabinet by itself. Uh, I also got the Ampeg fridge and the SVT3 Pro here, but those have just been sitting for a couple months. Uh, right down here, I got my pedal board. Pretty simple. Just got a overdrive and a mute button for the amp. And then I got a Boss Bass Synthesizer, a Boss Bass Chorus, and the Boss Chromatic Tuner. And that's on a Boss pedal board to plug it all in. And that's pretty much all my gear. Uh, what's up, I'm Kyle, <laughs> 20th hour, I play guitar, um, this is my pedal board right here, I use a Boss GT10, uh, it's pretty nice, I like it, it's got probably 50 different presets, and then has 50 user channels too, and then it has four different buttons, you can pretty much put anything you want on there, from chorus to delay, effects, noise suppressor, preamp, compressor, pretty much everything, wall pedal, you know. Uh, loop station, which I use every once in a while. Uh, then my amp, uh, VHT Pitbull 100 CL, uh, two channels as a red and a green channel. Um, can pretty much get the same tone out of both channels, but I use the green for the clean and the red for the for the rape. And uh, uh, Mesa cab, Vintage 30s, oversized rectifier. Uh, Randall, I have no idea what kind of cab it is. Bought it from Evan from Parties Over. Pretty sweet. Uh, also has vintage 30s in it. Uh, I got a channel channel button, boost, effects, equalizer. Pretty much run the equalizer on the game channel all the time uh, for better tone. 
Uh, Ibanez 8 string. Uh, pretty nice. It's probably the best guitar I've ever bought for sure. Uh, plays really nice. The neck is super thin. I don't know if you can see that. It's super flat. Uh, EMG 808. Um, makes all the, the tones pretty equal and clear. It's pretty nice. Um, Instead of two extra bass strings, I go with uh, extra high string, extra low string. So G, E, B, G, D, A, D, A. Sounds pretty good. Um, I use Diodario strings. The middle six are tens. This is a nine. This is a 68. Uh, this is my other guitar. If you've seen us in the past, this is pretty much what I used to play before the eight string. Uh, Ibanez S5470. Thin. Uh, EMG 8185. This is a PA or something, I think. I don't know. I never use it. Uh, tremolo. Pretty nice. Uh, they only made like 150 of these in this color with the burl top, which is pretty nice. Prestige. Again, ultra thin neck, ultra thin body. Pretty sweet. Uh, this is the guitar I pretty much recorded all the solos and a lot of the six string stuff on the CD with. Um, the eight string was used for lower stuff, like the breakdowns.